Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Photic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL event tutorial for beginners. This is our part 6. Inside this video session guys, we are going to create a recurring event with infinite time. So in the last video, we had seen that how can we create a recurring event. If you go to the next slide. Now this is a recurring event within certain time period. This is the syntax actually by the help of this syntax we had learned and created some recurring event in our previous video. So this is something like that create event if not exist this is our event name on schedule and we are going to run our recurring event after every one minute. It will start while creating means at current timestamp and it will end with the current timestamp plus interval of one hour. Now inside this recurring event syntax, as we can see that we have specified about the start and the end timestamp. So within these intervals, basically our recurring event going to repeat itself. Now let's say that inside this video, we are going to create a recurring event with infinite time. What does it mean? It means that we are going to create a recurring event which basically start after every one second or let's say one minute or any specified time. It will start with this interval but there is no end timestamp. So if I back to our MySQL server to see in action, go to SQL tab and firstly let's check about that is our event scheduler thread is on or not. So it is on. So back here, so let's say that why not actually we are going to open our table because at lasty by the help of our recurring event basically we are going to insert some data inside this table and also inside this table I am going to truncate all the data what we have inserted inside the last video. Now this time inside this table right now we have no data so by the help of our recurring event with infinite time we are going to insert about infinite data so back to sql tab and let's say that create event let's say if not exists and uh, let's say event underscore let's say 15 on this is schedule let's say every and this is all about let's say 3 second and starts at so let's say starts and it will starts let's say current timestamp plus we are going to add some intervals so interval of let's say about 5 second and now this time we are not going to specify about the end timestamp let's say do this is for the body so let's say insert into table name something tbl books column names we have called book underscore name book underscore author publication and finally we have called description and here we have to specify call the values and inside this let's say that book one it is something let's say author 1 let's say publication 1 and finally let's say description 1 all we have done now so if I copy this syntax back to the slide open a new tab and pasting it here let's make some formatting all we have done now so basically by the help of this recurring event actually we are going to run a recurring event after every 3 seconds which basically start after creating this event with 5 seconds and this event will run until and unless if we make our scheduler thread off or we have we are going to disable this recurring event. So back to our browser now if I press go button successfully we have created our scheduler event scheduler now go to our more section so here it is reload this page now this time as we can see that event 15 and this is recurring event and we have successfully enabled that 
it will automatically start after creating with adding of 5 seconds back to table browse here now as we can see that it is inserting now data inside the table let me check about the created ad so as we can see here this is the time actually 8 41 54 second 57 second means all we have can see that it is running after every 3 seconds and this is the time actually it has started and endless it will turn until and unless actually we are going to do disable our scheduler thread so right now we have 11 records again I am reloading this page now ignore all now data has been inserted all 25 again reload this page means after every now here is pagination go to 2 now after every 3 second basically our recurring event is inserting data inside this table so this is how guys actually we can create our recurring event with infinite time so here is a question question is that we actually we will use this concept this concept basically used let's say that we have a scenario to take a backup of our table every night at 1 am and it is endless means every day we want about the logs of that table so how can we achieve this so in that case if we want to manage a history or a log actually we have to make a recurring event which run after every means we have to specify about the intervals according to our 1 am time and at that time actually our recurring event every day takes backup or the log of that table so how it is beneficial to actually implement about recurring event in our ongoing live applications so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will keep my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day